Welcome everyone to this review of the high grade Universal Century RX 121 2 Gundam TR 1 Hazel 2 from the Advance of Zeta Flag of Titans manga series. Now let's get this beautiful box art out of the way, and take a look at the model itself. Before we begin this review, I'd like to thank the community of Mecha Warehouse on their Discord, who were the reason I'm doing this review at all. They're not sponsoring me, but a great resource and uh, community to join. So if you've never heard of Mecha Warehouse, I suggest you go and look up their website. It's a good retail store with uh, a great community and support from their staff. So uh, go check them out. Now, of course, I love the Titans color scheme. It is always beautiful, even if it does show some nasty nub marks that I didn't spend an overly large amount of time trying to clean up this kit. I want it to be looking like it does out of the box as much as possible. I did add the sticker decals for a bit of flair because they're included. And yeah, they don't look amazing. And some water slides would definitely look much better if you have them. And other people in our community and Mecha Warehouse have suggested doing so. But otherwise, they add a whole lot of... There's a lot of empty real estate on this kit and the decals help fill that out. And there's a ton of variety of them and where you want to put them is up to you. Uh, the... Other stickers we have are we have the foil stickers and one color corrective sticker that goes here. And around the back of the main thruster unit, it wraps around to the underside. That is the only major color correction sticker. Uh, as far as other things that may need to be painted, we have some yellow that could be on these thrusters here and here. Otherwise, the kit is mostly color accurate as far as I'm concerned. I'm not an expert on Gundam color schemes. Now, out of the box, we have quite a few accessories. Uh, the main accessory is this large thruster backpack with some points of articulation. These thrusters can pivot. This main one can go up and down, revealing a foil sticker on the bottom. Two little verniers there. And it also makes a good prop. A lot of problems we have with some of these backpack uh, high grades is that they want to fall over backwards. But this one has its own kickstands. So that's kind of nice. Main weapon here is the little small beam rifle. The... E packs will disconnect. You also have a pair of E packs on the side skirts, although they cannot be connected to the main gun. They're just there for show. The kit comes with this nice large shield on the universal connector that goes on the arm, like so. But also comes with the Hazel 1 shield with the same type of connector on the back. So you get two shields for the price of one. The Hazel also comes with a gym rifle and a beam saber grabby hand. We'll take the beam saber off the back, attach the pink popsicle. Ooh, it's hard to do it through the camera. And Bob's your uncle. It uh, holds beam saber quite well. That's nice. The kit also comes with extra stickers for the alternate head options. And a large section of sticker decals, of which I've used all but one. All right, so let's get down to the nitty gritty with the articulation, because obviously we're going to pose these in our collections. So arms, I mean, typical, they pivot here. Go straight up, horizontal here. They don't have much up past that extreme. They go forward and back just a wee bit on a poly cap. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, my main gripe is just that the back end of this beam rifle sticks into the uh, Krellbow. Is that what the inside of there they're called? The Krellbow? Yes. Sticks in the Krellbow and it doesn't quite... You have to hold the gun like that or like that. Or just like straight up like that. You can't really do a good, uh, you know ready pose it kind of weird because that's go out to the one side that's a minor gripe uh both arms are quite the same in that measure uh head yeah uh, we go left and right up not too much down not too much it's a single ball joint so you're not gonna have too much there same thing with the waist it it pivots i mean you could probably do a 360 if you really tried uh but front and back not so much but it does have a bit of a pivot in there uh, all right. Oh, yeah. Here's a color collector sticker. I forgot the chevron on the groin piece is just a sticker that kind of goes over the red. It's uh, not amazing, but it does the job. Uh, skirts of, that fell off. <laughs> skirts go up. Gives you some good front motion. Not as much rear motion, obviously, because the butt flap is fixed. Uh, the splits. That's pretty good for high grade. Uh, foot, the feet are actually have some interesting engineering, so you can have some pretty far flexion forward because uh, the way the piece connects in and hinges. And back also has pretty good range as well, so you have pretty good footing as far as if you want to pose the legs. It will put the foot flat in a lot of angles, which is very useful for your posing situations. So that's nice. 
as far as the back uh, these pieces are hinged I want put position and also they can rotate up and down about 45 degrees almost and the main thrust and back can go out 90 degrees and that's really it as far as the kit goes it does come with some extra pieces which I believe are part of the hazel one you have almost a full sprue of just yellow parts that don't seem to go anywhere other than around the neck. You have a, uh, a collar piece there. I believe these are backpack pieces for the attaching the shield to the backpack for the Hazel 1. Uh, you have a, a headdress option for the, uh, for the crown of the head. You can either have this one or this long piece that uses one of these uh, longer stickers. So you can have a different uh, headpiece on it. I use just the basic one that matches the, uh, the guide. An extra waist piece so you can fix your uh what's a guy called the one tristan there you go there's the tristan's waist they, they they left it in the hazel too so there's there's the extra part of your tristan and a couple other groin pieces if you want maybe a red groin i don't know go and pull his freedom one of the nicest features of this kit is it did come with a plethora of sticker decals i know sticker decals are not the highest quality thing Especially on these darker pieces, you can totally see the outline no matter how hard you work. Unless you completely cut them out with a tiny, tiny blade, you'll always have, on these dark pieces at the very least, uh, a nice little outline where you can see the edge of the sticker, which is very out of focus. But on these white pieces, you definitely really can't tell, and it looks great. The TR, the Titan Test Teams, the, the Mecha on here, all those look amazing because... You can't really tell it's a sticker until you get really close where it doesn't want to focus. And you can see the very outline of it. Oh no, that's awful. But you know, from 30 meters away at 30 meters a second, it looks amazing. And here we are comparing with two other high grades for comparison. Our Revive RX-78 II, which is the baseline 144 sale Gunpla. And also a higher end, the Char's Zaku II, the origin version. And I would say somewhere in between, it definitely has a lot of the higher end and better engineering that you'll see in newer kits like the uh, Zaku 2, but uh, it's also a lot more primitive just giving it, given its age. It's not the newest kit. This one was made in 2006, so it's not the newest kit, but also not quite as simple basic as the standard RX-78 2. So it's a good mid-level kit. Uh, it's not super expensive and has a lot to offer uh, for the price point, so I suggest you pick that up. So that's all for this review of the high grade RX 121 2 TR1 Hazel 2. Uh, if you like what you see here, please leave a comment below and also maybe subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing some more of these in the future now that I have something set up to do this with. Uh, also, please visit Mecha Warehouse. It's a great community and a small, like, locally owned business to me at least, but it's a small up and coming gunpowder business. They're very high quality as far as their attention to detail and uh, customer service. So, really give them a look if you've not heard of them before uh also then you get to join our discord server and have fun with all of us chatting about gunpla because obviously if you're here you love gunpla anyway this is lanakin malachite and i'll be signing off now gunpla is freedom